Mage Band here. We're back with another React video. This time it's gonna be Jack Black Part yeah. Two. If you missed it, we already did one, but now it's a Part Two. Let's see some Jack Black videos. It's just not important. Let's live life, people. Bye. It's okay. It's waterproof. It's water resistant. That's the same thing, right? Great dive, too. <laughs> Order resistant? <laughs> There's a difference, Jack. And you know what the best part is, though? He's probably so rich, he can just afford to buy another phone. But that one has sentimental value. Wait, let's see if he gets the phone. Okay. Don't be a slave. He said what? He said don't be a slave. Like a media slave. I don't know, that was kind of weird. It seemed like Jack Black was a media slave there at the end. <laughs> Going for his phone, I don't know. I feel good and early believe, knew that I would not. Well, that was, it was the year of musicals. I feel good murder. <laughs> this TikTok just perfectly encapsulates Jack Black. I feel good murder. He didn't answer any questions. Like, he was full sing mode that night. He might have had a lot of secrets in his brain he didn't want to get out. Or he had a lot of alcohol. Drink responsibly, everybody. Sometimes hotties are ugly on the inside. And sometimes uglies are super hotties on the inside. And sometimes hotties are super hottie on all sides. I don't know why I'm pointing here. Because you're a hottie. That's right. Thank you. I'm glad you said it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> He's got some logic there. Wow. I like that logic. Words of wisdom right there. It's what's inside the counts. Dude, his interviews are so awkward. I don't know, man. I think he's the king. Yeah, yeah okay. Maybe he's the king. <laughs> he's either really good or really bad. I think he makes the interviewers seem awkward. Like, I don't know if I just got the answer out of him or not. Like, what did I just get out of him? I think their views go up when he sings, so I think it's fine. It's like you. Our views go up when he sings. Adam sing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 million views. I'm gonna smack that UFC fighter in the face. <laughs> Almost. What? Ready. What was that? <laughs> what are you getting ready for? He's stretching. For what? A know. UFC fight. He's going in the ring. Can you imagine Jack Black being in a UFC fight? He'd just Nacho Libre up. Oh. Get, his, <laughs> get his mask, get his cape. Tell me that wouldn't be fire for like a WWE character to add into the games and stuff. Nacho! You're casted for Minecraft right after oh, Super yeah. Mario. What yeah. is it about video game movies? I don't know, but yeah, my plate is full. My dance card is crazy right now. Got the globes, and then I'm gonna go do some promo for, for uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, which I love. And then I go to do Minecraft. It's like, I don't know, my cup runneth over, really blessed. Bro, how is he in Minecraft? Also, how is he doing that interview with all that luscious hair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys, he's, he's literally like, oh, 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 I'm on the top of my game, bro. I mean, clearly the success of the Mario movie was a lot to do with his song, Peaches. I mean, instant classic. And then every other movie studio goes, we gotta make our video game movie with Jack Black. I can't wait to hear the song Jack Black writes for Minecraft. <laughs> creeper, 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 creeper. Creeper, creeper, creeper solo. <laughs> we just wrote it. We want our credit. We get 10% of the whole movie. 10%. Boom. We had peaches from Super Mario's. What other fruit are we going to pull out of the hat for Minecraft? Oh, man. Good quest. What? Wait, hold on. What did you say? Good quest? I think it's like good quest. Good question. Is that what he said? It's good question, but it's shortened down to quest. Dude, that's one thing he loves to do is like <laughs> shorten his words. What the fuck? Say your whole word. I see what I did there. <laughs> that was a nice sentence. I'm gonna get with Jason Momoa, see what we, what we can scrounge up. We're gonna do a little mining, okay. and then we're gonna do a little crafting, see what happens. That's what, okay, last question, last yeah. question. What's your pump up jam when you're getting ready? Pump up the jam, pump it up. Get to, I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need a pump up jam. He just comes up with his own pump up jam and he just runs with it. You all know Jason Momoa was in the Minecraft movie also? Yeah. Is he supposed to be someone specific? We don't know anything about him. We don't know. Maybe Jason Momoa will play like a pig. Be like a Shrek and Donkey situation. Ooh, that's Jack actually Black fire. Are we writing the movie for this? I mean, Hollywood. We it's got the song, we got the script. We should just make the movie ourselves. I'm practically Jack Black already. How did you prepare your voice to play Bowser? I had to do a lot of vocal work because you can hurt yourself when you when you do a Bowser voice, because 
That voice is so low and so powerful and so filled with fire and brimstone. So you gotta you gotta do like a warm up. So you gotta fa la 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 la. We gotta do the Jack Black warm up every time before we go on stage. That's gonna be our warm up. Three, four, fa la 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 la. A Bowser. And then a couple of these. And then you're ready to rock! No! That's terrifying. <laughs> Is there a character or personality trait? Bowser! <laughs> Bowser! He gives these interviewers a hard time, bro. They're just trying to get some good questions. He's like this. He's giving them everything they need. He's in character now for the rest Wait, of the interview. What's he thinking there? Just thinking. Bowser! <laughs> Sorry. What happened? What did I just do? Sometimes Bowser takes over my body. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. I want to be Jack Black. You can't. <laughs> I don't try. <laughs> no matter how much the comments want you to be Jack Black's son, you can't. Unless he adopts you. That's a legal loophole right there. Ooh. Get those adoption papers ready. Mini Jables is coming. All right, this next video, Brainstorm. we have Jack Black dressed up as Bob Ross. Ooh. This is going to be comedy gold. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time, this is an art show that me and Cage do every week. And today, we're gonna to be focusing on our beloved KG, Kyle Gass. Let's explore his body together, shall we? To capture the perfect KG skin tone, we get a little yeller. <laughs> a little yeller? <laughs> Why does he say it like that? You need a little yeller. <laughs> a little bright red. Ah, what the hell, a little green. Be brave. Mix them all together, it creates a perfect black. Or you can just use a Sharpie. That's what I do. <laughs> all that, all that with the paint, just to use a fucking Sharpie marker. Mark uses Sharpie. That's what I do. Dude, this looks real. Doesn't it look so real? The outfit, the black background, the video quality being a little shitty. It's got that, like, old filter on it. I need a whole series right now, JB. And here we go. Really explore the contours of the chrome dome. Now you might notice he doesn't really have the curly cues on the side, but that's the way I like to remember Cage the most. Just capture that precociousness behind the eyes. <laughs> what is that? It's nightmare fuel. Jack Black, stick to singing, please. You suck at drawing. I didn't inherit those qualities from you, Dad. Production just got shut down here on uh, the set of Jumanji. Uh, it's not because of weather, not because of the, the crazy uh, environment that we're shooting in. It's because Jack Black needed to finish his rice. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a lot of rice, dude. <laughs> it's a lot of rice. Like, why is he eating just straight rice like that in that volume? <laughs> I wonder if he's doing like that reverse burrito thing that you do. I've never heard it called that before, but what I do is I just take my, let's say it's a Chipotle burrito, you know, something big. You cut it in half, open it up, boom, hold it up like that so that the open side's up. And then you take some chips and you just kind of like <laughs> load up a chip. <laughs> delicious and then you have like a hollowed out tortilla with all like the juices and you just put some chips in there and now you have like a burrito and i've heard that jack black eats his burritos in a similar fashion i think he's more of a spill the contents onto the chips but my question is what do you do with the wrap you just throw it out <laughs> oh then you fill it with chips oh my god you get the double whammy because it still has all the juice jack you good i'm good yeah well, jack said i'm not shooting shit so I finished my damn rice. Ain't that right, Jack? Do some good stuff. That's right. Jack said you can kiss my ass. Production can wait. You okay, Jack? Whoa. They got wait. Hey, big guy, ready to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. The rock just came in. Literally just. <laughs> Dude, that cast was freaking loaded in that movie. Ozzy Man Reviews! Oh, shout out oh. to Ozzy Man. Looks like he did something with Jack Black. Let's see what they did. I got here right when Super Bowl kicked off. And there's the opening song about the freedom and the bravery and all of that stuff. Chris Stapleton did it. Have you ever been asked? Because my immediate thought was like, he would smash. No one's asked me that. to sing at the Super Bowl. You would um, smash it. I would smash it if I were asked to sing at the Super Bowl. <laughs> What? Super Bowl. Why did he say it like that? I think he's making fun of Ozzy Man. Like, if I wanted to sing at the Super Bowl. Sounds like David Bowie. If I was going to do the Star Spangled Banner, That's it'd the go song. a little bit something like this. Oh, say, can you see him? I didn't do my vocal warm-ups. That's okay. 
<laughs> he shot himself in the foot. He started way too high. I think he should have started higher. A little too low. It would sound better on the day. Nah, that works. I reckon that works. But what if I came down under and, and sang the uh, the national anthem? You can do that at, at like, the Australian Rules football yes, game final. Yes, the Australian Rules. It'd be weird if I came down and sang that, though, because I'm not Australian. It but we love like you, you got to be a local. It's not weird if we love you. At so. Monster Australia Fam! <laughs> what? He just knows the Australian national anthem? Is that is that what that was? I don't know what that was. <laughs> I can't confirm nor deny that. Comment <laughs> if you know what that song was. Let us know. Is that the Australian national anthem, I guess? According to this guy, he just made it up. He had no clue. I don't want to brag, but I do have like a 12 octave range. It goes, it can go lower to like below human comprehension. Lol, lol, lol. Cap. Wait, I, I think I can do that too. Lol, 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 Same thing. He just didn't talk. Everybody do that face. Uh, 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 uh. We all have a 12 octave range now. <laughs> What's up, Jack? What's up, Jack? Hi. That's the most doing? ridiculous shirt I've ever seen. Do you have any good names? <laughs> the cat on his truck. Empire State Building. Put your shitty Nagel shirt. Uh oh. Duran, Duran. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get away from us. You having a good day today, Jack? I'm being harassed. Uh oh. We saw a big uh, famous movie star. We had to come say hi to you. Hi. At least right. he knows how to deal with the paparazzi. Like he's not, yeah. like he's not being like too over dramatic about it. He's like, hey, I'm being harassed. I'm like, hi. <laughs> You're searching piece of shit. <laughs> You're one of the best comedians there are, man. You're best. Really, really funny. The best. Number one. You know, Tenacious D. Uh, Pick of Destiny was a great movie. You ever think about doing a second one? It was um, not just great. Was the best? That's what I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> Yes. I'd imagine you went up to Jack Black and tried paparazzi him. That would never Jack, a good. moment of your time. Jack! That'd be a good TikTok. Jack, you have a ridiculous shirt on. Does that make you want to talk to me? Just start talking about the duet with us and Jack. You ever think about doing a part two with the duet AMH fan? <laughs> you have like a fake mustache on? It was the best <laughs> duet. <laughs> the best! So I nice to you. You do? I recognize you. Are yeah, you from television and Really? Film. Yes. You are like one of my idols. Oh, thank you. It's oh, so, oh. I've been working on a Jack Black impression, but I, I can't get it. So. I didn't realize you were so tall. Well, how tall did you think I was? Well, I'm like 6'5", so you must be at least 8 foot. <laughs> Jack Black is clearly 6'5". <laughs> He's up there with, with fucking Shaquille O'Neal at this point. Will the Saxaboom ever make an appearance at an award show? Ah, uh, dude, I should have brought my Saxaboom, my pocket size. Uh, you never know. Never say never. And how, how does it feel to be at the Globes tonight? It feels good. I have to say, I was nervous on the way here, but now that I'm here, it feels like home. Yes. Well, it's such an honor to meet you, Jack. Such a huge fan. I love you. Ew, the awkward handshake. The awkward handshake ruined it. He went in for the yeah. shake, and Bruh. then he went in for the hug, and then you had to move the microphone to the left hand to the right hand. A lot of movement. Just stick with the first intention. That's oh. it. Be confident. Let's watch Make this one change. more time, but we're going to slow it down. Oh, no. Well, it's such an Pretty honor exciting. to meet you, Jack. Such a huge fan. I love you. Wait a minute. You went to the right, to the left, to the right. Yeah, he switched Did hands. Did you see that? Such a huge fan. I love you. You are the best. He the best. He didn't follow through. Also, Jack was like not looking. He's looking for somebody. I don't yeah, know. what is Jack looking at? He just never is looking eye to eye with anyone. I'm telling you, look at all the clips. He's never looking eye to eye. He's always into a camera or just in, in the sky. <laughs> Did we just unlock a new Jack Black conspiracy theory? Oh my God, he's a skinwalker. He can't look eye to eye. Now let's watch it at two times speed. I was nervous on the way here, but now that I'm here, it feels like home. Yes. Well, it's such an honor to meet you, Jack. Such a huge fan. I love you. You are the best. Love you. You try to drink of water. Keep it real. Let's talk right. Yo, we just fixed the awkward moment. Nice. We just yeah. fixed it. So that is it, everybody. Jack Black reacts. Except it's us. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hit that like. Hit that comment. You know what to do. Tell a friend. AMH Band reacts. Kadoosh.